Lines map turning to pedestrian safety now at UMass Amherst. Construction is underway in an area where a student was hit and killed by a car in February and another student injured in March. The Western Mass News reporter Leon Purvis joins us now live from Amherst with more on that. Leon. Chris, Mary, the road over my shoulder is Sunset Avenue, and that's closed off to traffic due to construction for pedestrian safety improvement. Now, the goal is to upgrade crosswalks, sidewalks, and intersections. As the school continues to enroll more and more students, we're going to see a more densely populated campus, so pedestrian safety is super important. Mary Kay Bogan is going into her senior year at UMass Amherst, and she is pleased with the construction that is going to keep students safer while walking on campus, specifically targeted right now, Massachusetts Avenue, near where a student was hit and killed by a car in February and another was hit and injured in March. UMass Amherst have unveiled a number of improvements in the works along Commonwealth and Massachusetts avenues, included our raised crosswalks, textured pavement inlay, and ADA curb cuts at crosswalks. Also, reflective paint markings and flashing pedestrian beacons. Plus, signage and landscaping will be modified to improve sight lines. I think it's a little hectic right now, but hopefully it'll all be over by the time this semester, and then we'll have all these great new safety features. Mary Kate tells Western Mass News she hopes drivers and people walking on campus will pay attention to the roads this school year. That I've always been really big on pedestrian safety, but especially now, I mean, you can't risk it at all. And I think technology is such a huge issue. So many people are on their phones or have earbuds in. This week, traffic will be reduced to one lane, and there is a detour at the intersection of Massachusetts and Sunset Avenue. But we're told that the majority of the work is expected to be complete by the start of the fall semester. Live in Amherst, Leon Purvis, Western Mass News. Leon, thank you.